Right erase is one of the most important command you will use if you are a network engineer or network technicians. And you should know how to use it properly. The purpose of write erase is completely remove the configuration from the switch. You have to completely remove those configuration from those switch in different kind of scenario. For example, when you do a network refresh. During a network refresh, you are going to replace your existing switches with a new type of switch. In that kind of situation, what you have to do is you need to do a write erase on your older switch and completely remove the configuration from those switches before you send that to swap or for resale. Otherwise, your configuration might be exposed. That can lead into network vulnerabilities. Another kind of scenario is, say you are decommissioning a switch for some reason and that switch is still a current model and you need to repurpose that switch in another location. During those time, what you have to do is you have to completely erase the configuration from the switch and then you can put in the new configuration after that. So let's look at how to do a right erase properly. So this is one of the switch. I have some configuration in it. Let me go into the privilege mode. You need to be in the privilege mode to do the right erase. And then let's look at the running configuration, show run. It has some configuration in it. You know that running configuration is a volatile memory. And when you reboot the switch, whatever in the volatile memory will go away. So when a switch reboot, it basically reboot from the startup configuration. So let's look at startup configuration. Show, show startup config. It is showing me the same kind of configuration that is in the running config. When you do some kind of configuration, let's do one. Conf T int FA101, switch port, access, VLAN 10. And, and then let me reload the switch reload and it is asking me system configuration has been modified save yes or no what is happening here is when you make a change and you don't do a right mem it is going to ask you whether you want to save or not the configuration what you have done before you reloading the switch i'm just going to escape i don't want to reload the switch so i just escaped nothing happened and let me do a write, write mem. So now it is writing the running configuration into the startup configuration. And now you do reload. It is not going to throw the message saying system configuration has been modified, save or not. I'm going to escape. I don't want to reload the switch. Press quit, Q, it will escape. So now you know what is running configuration and what is startup configuration. So when you do a write mem, your running configuration will become the startup configuration. Before you do a write erase, first thing what you have to do is you need to delete the vlan.dat file because that is not going to get deleted even though you do a write erase. So let's do dl delete vlan dot that and I'm going to delete yes delete confirm yes let me see whether I do have that VLAN dot that because I might have deleted it already dir and there is a VLAN dot that here delete force recursive VLAN dot that I'm just basically forcing the deletion because sometimes you may have to do that if you cannot delete it normally. Now I'm going to look at DIR. Now you see the VLAN dot that is gone. And now I'm going to do a write erase. It is saying erasing the NVRAM file system will remove all configuration files. Continue. I'm going to say Yes, enter. Okay, erase NVRAM complete. 
So now let's look at whether you have the startup config. You should not have a startup config at this point. Show, show start, startup configuration. It says startup configuration is not present. That means if you do not save the configuration, what will happen is when you switch reboot, it will look for the startup configuration. And if the startup configuration is not there, it's going to reboot like a new switch with no configuration in it. So if you do a write mem after you do a write erase, you are basically negating what you have done using the write erase. So let me do that one more time. Write mem, okay, you are building the configuration. Now let's look at the startup configuration. Show start. And you see, you have the configuration. So what happened is, you are running configuration, go saved into the startup configuration. So when the switch reboots, it's going to reboot with your configuration in it. So what you should not do after the write erase is, you should not write that back to the startup configuration. So don't use write mem after you do the write erase. So let's do one more time, write erase, confirm, okay, show, show startup configuration, you have no configuration in it, DIR, and you see, you don't have many files here, only the image and one another file. You see, after I deleted the VLAN, I had one, two, three, four files. I only have these two files. So this, this one and this one is gone. They contain the configuration. Now I'm going to reload. Proceed with the reload. Yes. Let's wait and see how the switch come up after the reload. Now it is coming and asking you, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog, yes or no? If you want to configure it via CLI, you normally have to say no. And you see, it's uh, becoming as a new switch. Let's go into the privilege mode and see show run. And it's going to look like a blank new switch with no configuration in it. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification if you want to see more kind of this video. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye.